You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. Oh. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand nice jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, shut up. You have all the bases covered, baby. I have nothing to do, do with it. Do you think I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake. It's too oh. late, Sabo. Good YouTube, it is your boy LSG Melly, and I'm bringing you guys some more LA Noir. Last video was full of a lot of chaos and missteps. I did not do good on that. <laughs> that, <laughs> that last episode was crazy, bro. I had to restart it to make sure we got everything that we needed for the, for the episode to go smoothly. I'm gonna try to be better this time, y'all. That was crazy, but. No long intro today. We're about to just hop into this thing. It's actually very early in the morning. I think it's like 8 o'clock in the morning right now. This is the earliest I've ever started a recording. Because I got some sleep last night, actually, for the first time in like two months. I'm actually doing pretty good. I feel good. Energies, energy levels is way high. We good. like. But yeah, without further ado, about to get into this thing. If you guys are liking the content, please like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. I really appreciate that. Still on that journey to 500. We soon get there. Thank you guys. Oh man. I'm getting closer and closer to me having to eat that sour candy, isn't it? Yikes. But uh not gonna waste no more time. Let's get into the gameplay. A marriage made in heaven. Ooh. I smell domestic abuse. Just like that? Just like that, bro? All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site, the coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. She was 13. Whoa. Hold on, let me get a little sip of my I'm thinking water. of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. We're gonna need to be a little hydrated for this one. Whoa! Where my partner at? Oh, I'm I'm dolly today. My partner off. All right, good. He be getting in the way anyway. Oh, he's right here. Oh no, I'm with you still. Ooh. Hit and run is crazy. I think I'm, I'm gonna drop this one. Get in the yo, what's up with you? The man got hit, and you want to play? Looks like the DA is gonna press charges, and Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered. I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes to We don't need to do all that. I'll convince him to let it go. How do you do that? I'll give him something better. All right, now we're here. Now we're here. Ray's Cafe. Woo! Thumbnail, maybe? I don't know. She don't look phased in the slightest. All right, so Detectives. we got some stuff to talk Over about. Over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Dick is a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there, and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? Lester Patterson. The only Patterson. one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the Yellow Brick Road. Is that so? Oh, what happened? 
We're gonna take a look around. Oh, okay. hopefully that didn't mess up my recording too much. I don't think so. All right. Phelps? Let's check the body. I landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. All right, nothing notable. Let's check his, let's check his, uh, his, his, his belongings. Let's see what you got. Dear Mr. Patterson, Patterson insurance letter. life insurance. Whoa. It is with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application 14-F and pre-approved has been granted to raise the weekly premium or your life insurance policy from 370 per week to 590 per week. This raise became effective on January 1st, 1947, where our standard veteran care policy entitled you to lump to a lump sum payout of $10,000 in the event of your unfortunate death or permanent incapitation this new plan secures your beneficiaries a uh, beneficiaries a sum of 16,000 and he circled 16,000 and said what the f Ooh. we at california fire and light thank you and wish a good health and security for the future you're sincerely curtis benson vice president of california fire wow Yo, who who collect who the beneficiary? We gotta go check the beneficiaries. Okay. His wallet. We can notify next of kin. Wow, bro. Eesh. How much money was that? Was that like eleven dollars? This is the nineteen forties, y'all, so that that's a lot of money that is a lot of money in life insurance policy right there bro what have you got on the victim from all reports he was intoxicated at the time of the accident i'll know how intoxicated once i've done the autopsy looking him over now i'd say he died on impact what about the chest wound isn't that inconsistent very common in auto injuries look for a car with a prominent hood ornament those things are killers Yo, look how much he, look how far he slid, bro. Body traveled a good 20 feet. Sheesh. So you know they were speeding. I don't think his hat means anything. No? Nah, hat don't mean nothing. So, we got all right. So we got the body. We got some Never other stuff same, over here. Bro. So this is where the impact was. This blood is a long way from the body. Car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Then we got the skid mark. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. Definitely hit and run. No doubt about that. It's all yours, detective. Anybody else we could talk to? All right, we're going to talk to the lady. Matter of fact, we're going to go inside of here first. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Dudley Lynch. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. All right, so we gonna come. We gonna come back day. to you. You want information? I'm your guy. We gonna talk to her first. Miss Perry. Yes. I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well. I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Argument. All right. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Suspect vehicle description. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. 
That's what we've seen. I don't know. I didn't know the model of the car, but it is. it was dark red. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Okay, we got something. Red Lincoln Continental. Nice. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Cap. Let's ask her again. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Cap, bro. Cap. Why are you yes. holding out on us, yes. Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things look pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. <laughs> People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Typical. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. All right. We talk to everybody. Wrinkled was not one of the things I wanted to be when I grew up. Hold on, we going Oh, we got a telephone. We could call it uh I think the for the model of the Operator, car. give me R and I. What are you through now? Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, three Charles eight. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Mm. Registered to a William Shelton. Mm. 738 West Temple Street. Yeah, we got his... Thanks. We got his car, too. Looks like we caught a break on this one. I don't think anything will be back here, right? Nothing would be back there. Oh. So this is why everybody comes to raise. Gambling. All right, let's talk to the let's talk to the uh, bartender. Wait, wait, wait. I'm here all day. What was that? You want information? I'm your guy. I walked over here and it. Oh, a newspaper. All right, let's see what this is about. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. What do these newspapers have to do with court, anything? Learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. 
You weird, bro. Alright, let's talk to the dude now. Alright, hit and run incident. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Mm, I don't like the way he answered that question. You telling me a big domestic dispute was happening outside and none of y'all care? I'm calling Cap. So what was he doing outside? Mm. It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Association with victim. I don't think he knows the dude. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. I believe, yeah. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No, he came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Argument overheard in bar. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? No, it's not. What? What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? What? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. All right, so do we go back to the phone? All right, so we done, we done with the phone. All right, so we're gonna go to Mr. Sheldon's place. Where's our car at? Use intuition points to search for clues. We we missed every. What else did we miss? Remaining is oh. We got something in the alley. Oh, a knife. That's the puncture room. A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. But... But they said the guy had a puncture wound on his chest before Every he got hit. Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your I don't even hear you no more. I'm not even Can you drive to this one? <laughs> Do we know where we're going? The Patterson residence? Nah, yeah, we're gonna go to the Patterson residence, bro. She got a lot to answer for. Yeah, let homie drive for once. Oh, quiet. Okay, cool. I like that. 4.42 a.m. All right. Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. How do you know that off rip? Come in, won't you? Hmm. Do we take a look around? Now I'm gonna take a look around first. Why am I so why is this why do we pick this up? Probably nothing. It is nothing. What like why, bro? Whoa, dirty dishes? Bro, I didn't wanna no, not that. Yo! Why are you trying to pick Seems everything irrelevant. up? Everything is not important. Hold on. Give us a, give us a second. 
But we like to play poker at home too. This isn't what we're looking for. There's no music going off, so I don't think there's anything of importance in this room. Oh. Bedroom door lock. Alright. Let's do it. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? It means a lot. I think it's about time you left. No. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. Oh. It's okay, Lorna. Oh. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. Ooh. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. Yeah, good, you all right. You expect me to believe that? Real Look, good. Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? Ooh. I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. The plot thickens. She's gonna lie about everything, so let's be prepared to just, like, yeah. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Cap. What, what, what in, uh... No, nah, hold on. Let's 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 ask this. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Cap. Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Okay. All right, let's ask this question again. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. We don't really have evidence. But we could use the argument. You're lying, though. Lorna. You pushed him in front of the car. If you think you can prove that, I suggest you arrest me now. Oh, okay. My don't fit too can't. Okay. We don't care about that. Go away. Um, when is report over here argument prior to incident? Can we use this as evidence for real? We can't use that though. We can't. We can't identify that she stabbed Sorry. him. My mistake. So we're just gonna doubt it. Yeah. You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. <laughs> tough time, all right? The only thing tough about this whole situation is what's between this guy's legs. Right as soon as we leave. Yeah, bye. Yo, she... She is a... Uh... Hopefully I edit that right to where it makes sense. <laughs> Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective. 
perspective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks, ma'am. Ooh, report to Central Morgue. All right, all right, all right. So where we about to go now? AGI features the best live programming and transcribed shows. So we're gonna AGI go to the morgue first, and then now nah, let, let's go. Let's go down the line. Let's go down the line. What is the secret so the morgue can we? Matter of fact, no. I really think we should go to the morgue first to get some more evidence. We, like, we're gonna. We need more evidence. Let me get out. You're behind the wheel. Ah! Bro, move! Oh my gosh, not again. Not again. Not again, bro. Not again. <sighs> now we're gonna go to this. We're gonna go to the central morgue first. Yeah. You're driving, gang. You can drive. Oh my gosh, I had to really start that all over, bro. That's crazy. Alright. Alright, not in there. In here. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run he, that by me again? He was stabbed, right? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Ooh. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet oh, we could yeah. roll some. At Ray's Cafe, find the bloodstained knife on your first sweep the, of the crime. Yo, good thing for the intuition point, man. Oh, as a witness. Oh. Let's bring her in. Bring her in? Bring who in? We don't we don't know yet, bro. Relax. So him getting what he he still was stumbling though. He still was stumbling. We're gonna go back to the show. We're gonna go to the show the residence though. Cause he still did a hit and run. So we gotta go see him too. Oh. Hold on. Alright, let's go. Yo, Can we try to get there in one piece? We have the night. You decide to talk when I get here, yo, yo. Just don't talk at all, bro. him trying to skip town look at his car still got the blood on it all dinged up bitch right there william shelton yes it doesn't look good shelton you packing your bags and making a run for it you know why we're here yes the accident We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Sheldon. Oh! Oh, we out! We out! We out! Yeah! This is what that I'm coward looking. thinks he can run from everything. Everybody get out the way. Everybody get out the way. Everybody get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. Bro, shoot his tire. Land to his wheel, Archie. Come on. Shoot 
shoot his shoot him or something. I wonder if drop top driving like this. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Bro. Don't let that asshole get away. Uh, yeah. Come okay, on, right, shoot right, him right. or something. Yeah, you, you bet you do. That's it. Cuff him and we're done. Yeah. Give it up, LAPD. Yes, How's sir. How's a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. Mm. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. So, initial report came back with an ID on our victim. Lester D. Pattison of 182 North Hope Street. Captain wants us there double quick. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Going back to the Pattersons. And where bro. exactly are we going? The Pattersons. You're driving. Yes, sir. They're trying to commit insurance fraud. That's crazy, bro. I bet you they're not even here no more. spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. Yeah. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. Oh. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. Oh, they're whispering in my ear, telling me how we had to get rid of them, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up! You had covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with think it. I'm gonna fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake! It's too oh. late, Sabo. You shooting back? Oh, we Sabo, we stop or I will shoot. Okay, come on. Oh, where did he go? Now I'm not gonna lie, he 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 juked me. Last chance to surrender, Sabo. This guy's kind of fast. Oh, yeah. You come any closer and I will pull the trigger. How long do you think you can hold out? Yes, sir. Help me. Now you're good, ma'am. You're good. You got a bunch of people going to you jail look spooked, now. Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Thumbnail. Yeah. Did all that talking and you a thumbnail now. How you feel about that, gang? So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Woo! Clues found eight out of nine. See, we 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 didn't do a good job, but not that bad. Vehicle damage, city damage.
not a perfect case, but case closed nonetheless. We got four stars instead of five. That's fine. That's fine. Four star hotels are still pretty all right. I mean, just the minor things probably wrong with them. Ain't perfect, but yeah, no hotel is perfect after what I've seen on TikTok, but I'm not going to say too much. But all right, y'all, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. That was fun. That was that was a good time, yo. That yeah, we getting better and better at solving these cases, man. But good thing for that intuition that I didn't use on the question. Instead, I used it on the clues this time because we found the knife to incriminate them. Ooh, yes, sir. But all right, y'all. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Turn notification bell on. Hmm. Got bad ass at reflex today. Yeah, like and subscribe, turn notification bell on so you can see when I drop the next episode to this. And I'm going to be on my way. See you guys in my next video. Peace.